Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about the H and I line bridges. So stay tuned. The H and I line bridges. Moving up Carfort Canyon, we're going to talk about and show pictures of the H and I line bridges. Both were built in 1939. Both were large, still curved viaducts. Now we had videos on the A-line, D-line, and G-line bridges, so now we're doing H and I bridges. This photo shows construction on the H-line bridge. You can see the large wood G-line bridge in the background. Then another view, now you can see all the way down the canyon, G-line, D-line, and A-line bridges. Then this dated photo, June 6, 1939, shows a large crane and the bridge is almost complete. Now the next picture is dated the same June 6, 1939 day. It shows the cement foundations already in place for that I-line bridge, ready for steel. Construction on the I-line bridge. And then bottom left, you can see the Highland Boy Community House. And then bottom right is the Armstrong Tunnel. Now look at this great picture. They're putting the decking and even the rails in place while still working on the girder system. The bridge almost complete. Check out the huge crane. Then note the roof of the Highland Boy Community House, and that's bottom right. Both bridges were built by American Bridge Company. Both were 140 feet high. One was 590 feet long, and the other was 610 feet in length. When looking at these bridges separately, it's hard to distinguish which one is which. One way to tell is by looking at the buildings at the base. At the base of the H-Line Bridge, there was Mary Sam's boarding house. Now here's a photo of that boarding house. The base of the I-Line Bridge, north side of the canyon was the Highland Boy Community House. South side of the canyon was the Armstrong Tunnel. Now here's a close-up of that community house. It was a landmark in Highland Boy for many years, serving as worship and recreation center for all, and all loved it. Here's a newspaper article about the H and I-Line bridges. Note, it says there's six large viaducts spanning the town. Well, there was actually seven counting the D-Line bridge. Now, it shows the men riveting the steel supports. Their name was Ed Rubin and Ben Conklin. Here's some other pictures of them working on the H and I-Line bridges. This is a Don Streck rail map showing the bridges up Car Fork. Now, I pointed out the H and I-Line bridges. Then here's the Don Streck picture dated December 6, 1956. And he has labeled all those bridges for us. September 6, 1939 shows the two complete bridges. Now this is a Karen Peterson photo found at utahrails.net. 1951 color photo was taken by the famous photographer Amsel Adams. That's in the Fortune magazine, November issue. It's a great view looking down on the H and I-line bridges. This picture was taken December 4th, 1956. There was an accident in Carfort Canyon, but in the background you can see both H and I-Line bridges. Then here's a few more pictures I have of these bridges. This one is looking down from the Highland Boy School. Then looking up the canyon, the H and I-Line bridges, and then the J and L-Line bridges, and the community of Highland Boy nestled under all these bridges. This colored picture is from Larry O'Sara. It's looking down Car Fork. I, H, G, D, and A-line bridges are all in view. Then look at this grand picture. This is from Don Strack again. You're looking up Car Fork Canyon and it's a nice clear photo showing all those bridges. Well, except J-line bridge. I think it's hid by the I bridge up there. We will end with this beautiful colored picture. 
It starts with a close-up of the H-Lane Bridge, then on up to I, J, and L Bridges. You can lose yourself in this hazy picture. You can see the smoke coming out of the houses, what makes the picture alive, and then the cribbing and trails and the stairs show that it was an active workplace. There was no other place like this in the world. So that's the H and I-Line bridges of Carfork.